by also thanking you for addressing this this issue that has been around for so long. Um, you know, at the last meeting, I did indicate that I had concerns, and I wasn't sure um, how I would vote today until I read the morning newspaper about the um, actions of the legislator, and it it really solidified my thoughts about what I would do today. And uh, I just quickly grabbed a little piece of paper and wrote down some some thoughts. And I, apparently, I need a bigger piece of paper, but. Uh, <laughs> Um, I guess we say in past meetings and this meeting that we're not targeting the homeless. And you know, sometimes I, I, I don't mean disrespect to anyone, but I guess what's going through my head is um, maybe if we say it enough, you know, we'll believe it. But um, I'm not sure how we can say that this is not targeting the homeless because who else is lying down on the sidewalk? <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I just think we need to be honest and. I really fully understand the problem this is causing. I think none of us are, are blind to it. It's a serious problem of blocked sidewalks, people lying down. It's a real problem. Um, but as I said last time, I'm not sure making a, another law is the right thing to do. Um, we have certain laws in place, and I'm not sure any of them have been effective in addressing the situation. Um, I think all we're really doing is moving people around and, you know, they go away and they come back. And I, I just don't think another law is the right thing for us to do. Um, so perhaps instead of making more laws, you know, we've let this problem, I shouldn't say problem, we, we've let the homeless situation go for so long that it's led to the situation that we're in. And perhaps we need to take responsibility for past inactions. And the only thing I can say is I'm not an expert, but I think the administration is on the right track finally in looking at the situation of, of the solution being getting people into housing. And the housing first, I think, is a wonderful solution that perhaps instead of spending hours and hours debating more laws, perhaps we should just find ways to support the initiative of housing first. Um, and there's no, no doubt how the homeless issue is, is, is a very complex issue. If there was a simple solution, it would have already been done. Um, and I think sometimes we look for the simple solutions, the Band-Aids, and it led us to where we are. And I think the answer is actually out there somewhere. Not in here, you know, we sit here in our ivory tower thinking that we'll make more laws, but I think the answer's out there. There's all the social service providers, the service agencies, the churches, the experts are out there. And I think we just need to work more closely with them on what is the right solution to this problem that we're facing. Um, and I guess to summarize, um, you know, although this law may be legal, I'm just not convinced it's moral. I'm not sure it's, it's the right thing for us to do. And I'll just end by saying that, you know, the big controversy across the street with the same-sex marriage, I mean, no matter who, which side you're on, um, the takeaway for me was the whole argument on both sides was about love. Yeah, and God teaches us to love everyone. So I'm just wondering in this debate here on this issue, why are we not showing the homeless the same love? And, you know, it's the homeless people. Where's that compassion for those who can't help themselves? The mentally, um, th those with mental illnesses. Um, you know, these are the homeless people. So making another law to, to make them into criminals, I just don't think that's the right thing to do. And, uh, you know, I... I say again, I fully understand the issues, but I'm just not convinced another law is the right thing to do. So um, I will not be supporting this. Thank you. Thank you.